Walker, and I'm WGA, Joel Madison, WGA, West, 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 and uh, Joel you... and I uh, ran into each other, hadn't seen each other in 30 years. He was on my very first staff job, the Jackie Thomas Show. Yep. He had worked on Roseanne before, and I, I worked on Roseanne after we met. But we were at the Writers Guild rally in big June rally. at uh, La Brea Tar Pits. Yep. Yep. And he goes, Bill Walker. And uh, we were friends on Facebook and hadn't seen each other in, in years. We just started catching up. And yeah. It was so cool. And we said, let's do a Roseanne. You said, let's, why couldn't we do a Roseanne reunion? And, and you I said, said I'll, I'll do it. it. Yeah. yeah, let's do it. Joel, what seasons were you on Roseanne? Uh, one, I was on the third and the fourth season. And Bill, you? I was on six through eight. Yeah. Yeah. And here we all are here with this fantastic turn. What was it like seeing so many people from the original show and the Connors? Unbelievable. Great. I mean, everybody. Yeah. Crew, yeah, writers, yeah, actors. Fantastic. Who yes, looked actors, the best? Background Bill. people. Who looks the best? Bill. No, Bill and, and, and Jody. <laughs> who, looks like, who looks like shit? Uh, well, uh, Tom Arnold. Tom Arnold. He always looks like shit. He's... What was your involvement with Roseanne? But the show. Sax. <laughs> He's Tom spilled coffee on stands number thirteen, Would writer's jersey that? from that year that. Uh, that Today. You guys, yeah. Today. That year that you guys had. Um, That's funny. By uh, uh, I was numbers. Seven. Oh, you had a number. Yeah. So I, my, uh, I was on the numbers. calm years. Third and fourth season, she uh, uh, said she was going to behave because before that, all the writers uh, either left or got fired. So after the second year, everybody left. I came in with a whole new group, and she did promise to behave herself, and did she, she almost did. Uh, she gave our, our uh, head writer, Bob, a lot of shit. I mean, he took a lot of brunt from her. But everything else was copacetic. Well, we both have our careers. I am here at this Roseanne picket because I grew up watching Roseanne. Roseanne was I still consider it the most Midwestern show I've ever seen in my life. And it's a huge inspiration for my comedy. So that's a big reason why I want to be here. I just want to be around the people who worked on such a great show. Uh, how'd you hear about this? I, uh, I heard about it through various text messages and flyers that you created, which I'm so grateful for. And um, what? Tell me what this means to what the WGA and the uh, sag after mean to you in terms of striking. Well, I think it's time to adjust the system. The times have changed. There's issues we're dealing with, like AI and fair wages, and I think um, there comes a time in where it cycles to a point where people can't make a proper living and so yeah. we're out here to make sure that happens. What do you think about the strike? It had, it had to be done. We're really doing it for the younger, uh, we're doing it for ourselves, but for the younger folks in the future. Uh, I'm really excited by this themed picket because I grew up on Roseanne, uh, the show, which taught me uh, the comedic structure of a pilot, I think. Uh, it was definitely one of the first introductions to the structure and format, and I'm a comedy writer today. So. I worked on Roseanne, I don't know when, same time you were there, so 93. <laughs> so why are you out here? Well, I want the strike to end in our favor. Uh, season five, the lesbian kiss of yes. the week past. I grew up watching Roseanne in Zimbabwe, and it was just one of the funniest shows I've ever seen. It's like, it was just so like visceral. So I think I just saw a lot of family dynamics that I had grown up with reflected in the show. Uh, Roseanne was kind of like this aunt that I had that was just very like boisterous and loving, but also very intense. Um, and yeah, my dad was definitely like, John Goodman, I guess. Tell us why you're here. I'm trying to get a fair deal for the writers and creative people. The people that actually dream this stuff up should be getting a larger share of the pie than they've been getting. Uh, yeah, there's things out of balance. Select. 
I worked on the Roseanne reboot in, I think it was 2018, not sure. And 17. 17? Yikes. And what did you do? I was the script supervisor. Cool. And? I'm Terry Faison, and I'm the script supervisor. <laughs> on the Connors? Or on the Connors. Cool. On the reboot. And you are? I'm Jody Hahn, and I was the script supervisor on the original Roseanne, and I'm now a director on the Connors. Yay! Yes, she uh, I'm Michael Fishman. I'm here because I love most of these people and have my whole life. Uh, best known for working on Roseanne is DJ, but really the most blessed co-worker to get to have my name live beside all of you for eternity. Well, now I'm Amy Brown. I'm the first AD on the Connors. I was the second on Roseanne. So what, when did you start working on the show? I'm the pilot of Roseanne in 1988. And you worked up until, up like until last? I got fired for season nine. And then what happened when you ran into Roseanne at the Christmas party? Oh, and she said to me at the Christmas party the following December, Amy Brown, where are you? Did you leave to have another baby? And I didn't know what to say, so I didn't really answer. I said, oh. Prior to I will say, I did a pilot for her years later, and then on the, Connor, on the Roseanne reboot, she could not have been lovely. What is this coffee cart? This is an IU coffee. Uh, we brew organic and clean coffee and tea. Um, today we're out here to support the actors and writers that give us the great entertainment that we love and appreciate. Uh, <laughs> I'm Don Foster. I worked on Roseanne. My first, I started uh, in 90. Uh, quit, rehired, fired, rehired, 90 to 94, I want to say. You joined Roseanne when? Um, ooh, uh, you were there when I got there in 92. Yeah, the, just after the, the first, the second, second season. Second season. Okay. Second season. Like five and or six episodes Roseanne, in. yes. And then now... I'm on the Connors and I'm a co-EP and we hired a costume designer. So it's it's a bookend. You made it, Mary Tyler Moore. <laughs> <laughs>
we, we went to McDonald's to the drive-thru. And, you know, it was really little, so the drive-thru window was really high. And the guy recognized her and wanted her autograph. She goes, fuck off, give me my burgers. It was just awful. So we got, I don't know how many, but she bought like 20 burgers and fries. And then we rode back across the street and almost got killed on Ventura Boulevard and all the way back to the Redford lot and into the into the office. But anyway, I loved writing on the show <laughs> after all that. I loved it. I loved the writers. It was the greatest experience. It taught me so much. And now I live in Germany. I do stand up still comedy. And I, I've written two books. And I'm writing my third and pretty happy. But I wanted to be out there marching with you today. And I couldn't because I'm doing some stand up work, stand up adjacent related work that I had to do. And. I'll bet you had fun. I bet there was a lot of laughs, a lot of laughs. And I wanted to be out there laughing with you and then crying also because I wanted to do just what I did on Roseanne. Laughed all day and cried all night. We laughed all day and I cried all night. Thank you for marching in my stead. Love you guys and I miss you. I'm in her makeup room and she takes my ponytail and she grabs the scissors and she cuts. Oh, yeah. That's cool. She cuts off my ponytail and she's holding it in her hand. Hey, Lacey. What? I, I got this. Hi guys, we miss you so much and we're out here picketing in New York today. We love you guys and sad straw. It's been nice to see uh, old friends of mine, and uh, especially the writers, especially the writer from Roseanne. They, uh, they went through a lot. I'm not used to them being in the ring. Hi, I'm Elda Lopez. I worked on Roseanne all the seasons, all the many seasons. I started out, out as a stand-in and then I was John Goodman's dialogue coach. And I'm on the Connors as well. Same thing. I'm John Goodman's dialogue coach and for other various people who Cool. And you, Jesse? And I'm Jesse Martinez Carlos. Um, I did the last season of Roseanne before the reboot of the Connors. I'm on the Connors now as a stand-in. I started out in background as part of the core background. And I was Michael Fishman's stand-in and as well as um, any other males other than John Goodman. Okay. And uh, so, yeah, it's been great. I was also Michael Fishman's stand-in. Yeah, oh. back in the day she was. Back in the day. Yes. When you were his height. We did not. We live in different cities. Totally. It's just it's what happens. Like, I'm Noelle Quigley Pullman's here. I'm a costumer from Roseanne and from the Connors. Floor reveal from uh, costumer Connors and Roseanne reboot. So, how did you hear about the picket today? I got, I think I first got an email from Jody Margolin, and then I also heard from Bill, a private message, and I saw it floating around on social media as well. Cool. Cool. So, what was it like? Um, you are both Connors, right? Yeah. So, what's that been like for you, and what is the strike like for you guys? Well, the show has been great. We work with such a fantastic crew, so many people from the original Roseanne too, and all the actors, great to work with. It's just been a great vibe. So it's sad for us because we really miss our family on set, and we're hoping this comes to an end soon. So we're out here to support the writers and the actors. I delivered scripts at night. I drove 500 miles away. And how many episodes did Roseanne make you guest star in? I was in, I think, six, six shows uh, because I told her she was funny and uh, and suddenly, you know, at some point somebody on the stage would say, would hear her say, uh, get Bob to play that and then I would end up being on the show. And they were, you were, it wasn't the same character. It was like well, a lot she, of different... Well, she always make a really gay character. She'd say, just be really gay, Bob, you know, and uh, at one point Neil Conrad, the ABC censor, said, you know, that guy's got to tone it down and... Uh, and so Roseanne told her that I, I blow men. And uh, so that's that was uh, really... I know in my gay wedding episode, you played a gay wedding guest. I, it's true. You I was, played a gay uh, flight attendant. I, yeah, is there any other kind? Uh, and uh, and it, was, it was pure joy. I mean, uh, this... The strike today. Thank God for strikes. Everybody gets to get together. I know. Yeah, what each other? And uh, we had the best time. Well, Joey did. Um, Joey came on the Good Girl Red Show. 
lessons did you learn from the Roseanne experience that you've taken on to other shows? No other show will ever be as insane. <laughs> I'm gonna, I'm gonna say no. That, but for you, probably. <laughs> I went from Roseanne shows. to Frasier, and that yeah. was like whiplash of the highest. So normal, right? So normal. But like That's well yeah. run, right? Like, but you know what? Every day at lunch, yeah. all the writers would turn to me and go, "So what was she like? <laughs> so yes. what? Tell us this. Or what is this yeah. true? Is that true?" So, every show past Roseanne, everyone wanted to know what, what was going yeah. on. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, I won't lie. I was a little bit concerned. I was like, is Roseanne going to be here? Because I don't know if I want to be here if she's going to be here. But I'll... Well, the strike's really hard. I think that we really have to band together to make sure that we provide jobs that pay people livable wages and that we provide for the long-term sustainability of our business and the careers that we've all kind of enjoyed. Us, but it's also all the businesses. For example, as customers, we rely on our dry cleaners. We give them so much business, and I bet they are just really hurting right now with everyone down. So the sooner we get back to work, the better for everyone. I'm glad you guys are out there fighting. If it wasn't for the Writers Guild of America, there'd be so many things that I wouldn't have had, that I wouldn't have done. And um, there was a point in 2001 and I created this crazy, crazy little kid show for Saturday morning. And um, the production co company wanted to steal my created by credit and I had to fight for it, but the Writers Guild helped me fight for it and I won. And that, that meant a lot to me. And so this is what we fight for, you know? This is why people like you guys out there pounding the pavement and really really um, making sure that we get everything we deserve is really important because uh, it was for me, uh, this meant a lot. This was like years of residuals and, and being able to support myself on a show I created, but they tried to take it from me. So anyway, you guys, I wish I was there. I love you guys. You're all new writers. You're all young writers. Good luck. Keep going. You're brilliant. Don't give up, okay? What doesn't kill us is making us stronger We're gonna last longer Than that greatest wall in China Oh, that rabbit with a drum If there's one thing that I love While waiting for my turn It's that in each life's a rainbow But you also get some sun And we'll make our better than okay It's been a great day. It's great to see this guy.